Welcome to Simple Life. I'm Cal and I have a problem. It's not a bad problem, it's a good problem. They keep bringing me more wood chips. I just cleared all the wood chips out the other day and I took them up to Oak Hill or Herman's as we like to call it. Well, they've come back and given me about three or four more loads, maybe five more loads. So I'm gonna have to go get the dump truck and take these up there because they just keep bringing us more loads which I am not complaining about. Please, don't get me wrong. I love this. This is gonna be so amazing for our gardens. I've wondered how I was gonna do all our beds and all this stuff and kind of control the weeds. Well, I guess just being the person that'll take somebody else's junk is good enough. This is our current wood chip pile. All right, let's get that excavator warmed up. And then we'll get these all piled up. I think it's one, maybe two loads. It's hard to tell. You never can tell. It's, it's always weird trying to figure out how much will fit in a dump truck. Maybe it's just because I don't do it very often. We got the wood chip pile all cleaned up. Uh, there's probably about a half a load up there. I'll wait for them to bring some more wood chips in and when they do that, I'll pile them up the rest of the way. We cleaned up the manure pile down there. We need to get that covered with some plastic. I tried to recycle Charlie's old greenhouse plastic last year, it didn't work. The issue with the old greenhouse plastic is, well, it's already had so much UV damage to it that it doesn't really, work you just pull on it and just rips and it becomes a mess so we're going to recycle that but i have a piece of black heavy duty plastic on the second floor of the barn we're going to bring some of that down and we're going to cover the manure pile so that way we all the goodies don't get washed down the road all right and this is what this looks like we are going to take the dump truck it's quite full of all the good wood chips we have we're going to take it up to herman's and dump it and we're going to check on herman herman is doing good and i'll give you an update of what's going on in herman's life when we get up top It's cold and wet, just stay in. All right, well, we almost doubled our pile in a day. That was a really big load. It was much bigger than the other two loads I brought up because, um, well, I wanted to get it done. So I kind of 
load the truck a little heavier. All right, so how was Herman? Well, Herman's doing good. His niece just came to town uh, last week. She was in town and he spent a ton of time with Patty and had a really good, enjoyable time. They did all kinds of stuff and I've mentioned some of that stuff. Uh, he is probably gonna be going down to California to spend some time with her. Um, and it will probably be, in, we're hoping he can go down for Christmas, but it'll probably be January, somewhere in there, January, February, somewhere in there. I, I, to be honest, I, I hope he can go down for Christmas. The main reason I hope he goes down for Christmas, not that we don't want to have him at our house, we always have him in our house, is I think it'd be really good to have uh, Christmas with family. I know we're not family family, we're family, but not really family. So I think that'd be really good for him. Uh, I think, especially since he just lost his sister, and I, I think overall it'd just be a good experience for him. That being said, while Patty was up here, they put uh, some of uh, Erica's ashes underneath the double cedar tree right next to his house. And I'll kind of show you where that is when we go down right now. And uh, that's really meant a lot to Herman. He's, he, he likes those trees. And uh, I think in a lot of ways, it's a kind of a picture of him and his sister. And he always says, oh, the trees grew up together. And uh, without saying it, he's saying him and his sister grew up together. Um, which is a really sweet thing and uh, for Herman I think that's about as philosophical as he gets so you know he's an old farmer you know I mean he's, he doesn't really get in depth with a lot of that stuff he's very you know practical all right well let's go down I'm gonna check his fire make sure his fire is going we'll talk to him a little bit and um, maybe we'll get a few stories out of him all right let's go check on him this is the little spot that Herman is memorializing his sister. And uh, it's a little bench. It usually has a pad on it, but we like to take it in when it starts raining. And she's got a little, a little bit of her ashes down over here, a couple Swiss flags. And these are the two cedar trees. Herman planted these and his friend that he worked on the logging camp with gave him these two trees. And he always says, if he would have known they were gonna get this big, he wouldn't have planted them this close. All right, let's go see how Herman is and we'll make sure we got his fire going. It look, looks like his fire is out. I can't see much up there. Hey! Oh, hi, Kyle. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right, but... Yeah, I'm kind of weak, you know. Not feeling too good today? Huh? Not feeling too good today? No, I'm not feeling too good. Alright. Clean up the house a little bit here. I need a couple of blocks of wood in there. <coughs> I had a phone all night. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. It's not too chilly out. Huh? It's not too chilly out. Just, just raining, not too oh, cold. When, when, when the cold weather comes. We have to, uh, what I was thinking, we have to put, go to the fire more to buy about three, about three of them heat lamps. Okay. I got some old ones around, that some around, but, but, uh, Well, uh, we have heat lamps, we just need the bulbs. Just the bulbs. Yeah, we just need bulbs. I think I put, I think I would put, Two of them under the house and one of them in the pump house. Okay. Better pick up, pick up three heat lamps. Uh, uh, them old ones you can't trust anymore. Okay. It's it's no use taking a chance. Pick, uh, the, the one of them going out when during the cold weather, you know. Yeah. That did not want the risk. Water works, but then we got it. Yep. They uh, they keep bringing me wood chips. Huh? They brought me more wood chips. Bringing more wood chips. So I just brought a whole load up with the dump truck. Yeah. Oh, okay, they, they, you can use them. A whole load, big load. Big load of wood chips brought it up. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can use them. Get, get, put some horse manure in with it, you know. I'm gonna use the, the wood chips on the walkways in between the beds. So the beds will get compost and the walkways will get wood chips. 
okay, that's okay. That's okay, eventually they rot down. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Sure, take all you can get, eh? Yeah, they brought me about 20 loads so far. Well, that's good. Hmm. There's that outfit that to do stage trees, eh? Hey, they just go along the, the roads and do all the trees. They trim all the trees. Only so many people want them. So they just keep bringing them to me. Because I went and told them, bring me as many as you can. Absolutely. And every time it gets real filled up, it's all gone the next day. They show up. So today, they, they dropped off some more this morning. I took them all. I got everything out of there. So they'll bring me back some more probably tomorrow or the next day or Monday or whenever. Just, just don't, if you, if you possibly can, watch walnut leaves. Walnut leaves are poison. Watch, watch that, watch that, tell, tell them that. I, I, I can't control what they bring me, yeah, yeah. but the thing is, is it's so mixed in, and I'm going to let it cook up there for a while before I start putting it anywhere. I'm not going to worry too much about that. There, oh. there may be a little bit of walnut in there, but I'm not going to worry about it because where I'm putting it, I'm for the most part trying to keep weeds from growing. I'm not yeah. going to put it in with the plants. So. Yeah. Yeah, I learned that the hard way one time in Hillsborough. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're damn right. We get a whole bunch of walnut trees around the house. And then we put them, we had a patch of strawberries. Put them, put them, put, put, put the walnut tree in between the strawberries. Strawberries died. Oh, strawberries. the walnuts killed the strawberries. Oh, and if you killed the strawberries, killed all the stock too. Mm. Yeah, walnut tree, walnut tree, if you can fight them, boy, they were no good. I learned that the hard way. But the... Well, it's all, it's mixed in with a lot of other stuff. Yeah, yeah, sure. And we're going to be putting it, I put in all the sawdust from, from bucking wood. When I bucked the wood, all that sawdust is in the dump truck. I put that in there too. Oh, sure, sure. And when we go through and do the apple prunings and the grapes, we're going to take the little chipper through and feed everything into the chipper. Yeah, that all up. yeah. Sure, that's good. You want me to heat up anything for you? No, not really, no. no. I eat some. Oh, I eat some stuff. Pie. It's a, it's a pie in there. And some bread and so I eat some sausages. Good. Well, I'm going to go. Do you want me to put something on for you? Some church or some hunting shows or something? No. Hey, what is today? Uh, is today Thursday? Today's Thursday. Thursday, huh? Yeah. So maybe next Sunday we can go to church? Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Yeah. Go to church on sun on next Sunday. Yep, we'll do that. All right, Herman. You have a good night, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dog still doesn't like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your dog hates me. I don't know why your dog hates me. She won't let me pet her. Watch. <laughs> you know, I never know what I'm going to get when I come up here. I never know how he's going to feel, what he's going to need. And uh, sometimes he just needs some conversation. We sit around and talk. Sometimes we talk about the same thing every single time. Sometimes it's hunting shows. Sometimes it's the grapes, apples, farming, gardening, stories about logging, all kinds of stuff. All right, I had to feed the cats. I enjoy coming up here and spending time with them, talking with them, chatting with them. And, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, I know he gets lonely. And there's not really much I can do. Come up, I can spend some time with them, which I do. In the winter time, I know he gets lonelier because he can't go outside. He's kind of stuck in his cabin. So, what you just heard is just kind of what happens. Sometimes it's a half an hour. Sometimes it's two hours, depending on the weather, depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes he comes down to our place and we watch a hunting show or something like that. For the most part, it's just a little glimpse into the time I spend hanging out with Herman.
And thank you for spending some time with us on A Simple Life. Have a good one. And welcome to the Pacific Northwest if you've never been here.